Let's make Dollar Tree spaghetti and meatballs. So this is Lettuce Eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to make spaghetti and meatballs with Dollar Tree items. I have my big pot filling up in the back. Because before I get going, I want to put it on the stove and get the water boiling. So that's going to take the longest with this video. It takes about 20 minutes for the water to boil and about 10 to 12 minutes for the pasta to cook so it's that nice al dente taste that I prefer. If you are new here, thank you for dropping by and clicking on my link and giving me a chance. Thank you for everyone who supports me each and every day. This is Dollar Tree Dinners where all the items were purchased at the Dollar Tree and you too can make these awesome dinners. And if you don't have a freezer department, you can still do a nice spaghetti sauce. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Please click on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell because it'll notify you when I upload more content and you don't want to miss a single thing. When we get to 600, which we are getting there, we are going to do another $10 Dollar Tree giveaway. One for new comments, one for new subs. So make sure you comment often and if you do subscribe, let me know in comments that you're new and say hello. And I'll reply back. That is going to happen when we get to 600. It must be United States residents. And plus, I have another items giveaway. I want to get 10 subscribers within the next few days. And when we get to 10, I will have someone pick out some items. I'll put the picture at the end of this video so you can see what they are. And that way, you have an idea of what you would like and hopefully subscribe. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what you need. I'm going to step away for a second to put the pot on the stove. I'm going to turn this on. Right front, all the way to high. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. And when I get the pasta in, I'll add a tablespoon of oil. So the pasta doesn't stick. Out of my cabinet, I'm going to need garlic and my black pepper and my dried onion or chopped onion, whichever you prefer. In the refrigerator, I'm going to grab the eggs. There's one left in this container, and I want to get it used up. In the Dollar Tree, you'll need the beef patties. I'm going to use one 8-ounce package. Larger families, you can use two. A half a bag of the pepper stir-fry. can of the diced tomato. Garlic and herb spaghetti sauce. And whatever pasta or spaghetti that you would like to get at Dollar Tree. And I just chose red regular spaghetti for this dinner. Let's go ahead and build the meatballs. I'm going to start by dropping an egg into the bowl. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my panko and the Dollar Tree. About a half a cup. You can add on if you need to. The chopped onion. About three teaspoons. Three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven for 350 degrees. Two teaspoons of garlic. Open up the beef patties. I'm going to take my beef patties. Just kind of break them up and plop them into the bowl. Just like that. I'm 
And then you're going to mix it all up. Kind of like how we did our meatloaf. If you watched my meatloaf video, if you didn't, I'll include that in my description box down below. Along with my Dollar Tree's dinners players list. I have players lists with all my common videos for your convenience that you can watch at any time you like. My most popular ones seem to be morning routines, clean with me, and Dollar Tree dinners, followed by Dollar Tree hauls, and my food pantry hauls as well. That is mixed well. Let me give my hands a quick rinse. Look at that, made 11 meatballs. Perfect. I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna time it for 25 minutes instead of 20. This is almost to a raging boil. I'm gonna go ahead and drop half a box into the stock pot. Give it a stir. And add a tablespoon of oil or butter, whichever you have available. And this will cook for 13 of the 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to get my bigger pan. In the meantime, I grab my bigger pan and I'm going to spray it with my butter spray. So the sauce doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm going to remove my bell peppers from the oven here. Let's turn it on to eight, my left front burner. I have my hunts. I have my dice. I usually do my spaghetti sauce in the crock pot. This is a quick, easy weeknight dinner that you can throw together. This is garlic and herb. And it is one pound. Throws a lot onto the frying pan. If you're going to do meat sauce, you can include the meat with the sauce. And I have a can of diced tomatoes that the Dollar Tree has been carrying. And this is 14.5 ounces. Be careful with this, it's not going to give me a smooth opening. There we go. I'm going to go drain the juices because I just want the diced tomatoes. I added the dice right to the pan. I'm just going to mix it up and then we're going to season it. I'm going to put that right there. I'm just going to move my can opener out of the way now that we're done. I'm going to put three teaspoons of fresh black hot pepper. You will hear my husband in the background. And we're going to put a couple of teaspoons of garlic. Just like that. I'm going to mix the seasonings up with the tomatoes and the garlic and herb sauce. I'm going to get this nice and bubbly. I'm going to reduce the heat to 
too. I'm going to let this simmer. I'm going to let the spaghetti. I'm going to let this simmer. I'm going to let the spaghetti finish cooking. And we'll check on the meatballs in about five minutes. I put my splatter guard over the spaghetti sauce so it doesn't go all over my walls and my ceiling. The noodles are almost done. In a moment, I'll show you what the meatballs look like in the oven. And I've been picking up the pick up in between footage. And I cut my finger rinsing off the can. So be careful with the dented ones, they're stubborn. So the handle broke trying to remove all the plastic, but it's all good. They actually tend to have them from time to time. And if I see a different one, I will grab it. But it fits my hand, so I'm thrilled. Alright, let's take out a noodle and see how well this is coming along. Not quite. Just a couple more minutes. It smells really good in here. It's like an Italian restaurant. There are the meatballs. Look how awesome they look. An 8 ounce package made 11. Okay, the pasta is now done. I'm going to turn off the heat. All the way. And I'm going to use my new pot holders. I have the gnomes and I have the truck. Taking this over to the sink. Let's take the splatter guard off. I'll be getting a new one of those because of the handle. This came out really nice. It smells so good. There's about 12 minutes on the meatballs, and when they are done, we will plate the spaghetti and meatballs, and I'll try them. My favorite part of Let Us Eat. And you're going to mix it into the sauce. This is why I use dried onion. Because I had onions in the peppers and onion strips. Look at that. All Dollar Tree products. The meatballs are done. I'm going to take them out of the oven and add them to the sauce. Look at them. They came out really nice. I'm going to put them down on the edge of the stove here. Let them cool down just for a moment before we put them into the sauce. I'm going to grab a spoon so we can scoop them off the pan easily. I want the square pot holder so I can get a better grip of the pot pan. I'm just going to put them into the sauce. Just like this. Larger families use two packages of the ground beef. Or you can just buy their already made meatballs, but those have a lot of byproducts in them. I'm not sure if this is all beef that I buy from the Dollar Tree, but I've been using it a lot lately and it's pretty decent. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and add some spaghetti to my plate. I'm going to take my ladle, Dollar Tree does carry real Parmesan cheese, 
usually during the taco seasonings if you want to put some up there. Here's what the spaghetti meatballs look like. I have some Parmesan cheese that I've had on hand for quite a while and I'm going to add it to the top of my spaghetti here. I'm going to go ahead and add the Parmesan to the spaghetti and we're going to give this a try. The sauce thickened up, not as much as I would have liked to because they don't carry tomato paste at the Dollar Tree, but a little trick is to add a tablespoon of flour and that will thicken up the sauce. Mm. Now for the meatball. Mmm. These are really good. All from the Dollar Tree. Again, here's what it looks like with the Parmesan cheese added to it. And this is usually found with the taco seasoning, taco shells, and Velveeta cheese packets. That is it for this video. I made meatballs from the beef patties from Dollar Tree with a spaghetti sauce on the stove top. And we added some bell peppers for extra nutrition and flavoring with the diced tomatoes and the garlic and herb hunts available at Dollar Tree. Plus their spices. The pepper I pick up at Aldi, however, but the onion as well as the girl that comes from the Dollar Tree. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking me out and giving me a chance. I do Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree dinners, I do bake with me, cook with me, cleaning motivation videos, and decluttering videos. If any of this interests you, my subscribe guy, he is directing you to go ahead and like this video. So smash that like button. All the newbies, he's also asking you to click on my subscribe bar down below. Don't forget to comment and comment often. When we get to 600, we'll be doing the gift card giveaway from the Dollar Tree. One for new subs, one for comments. Must be United States residents. And if I get 10 subscribers within the next 10 days, we'll do another item giveaway. Have a great day.